We have new details in the arrest of a third local man in connection to the January 6th insurrection. This investigation into this man, we're told, has actually been going on since the week after the attack on the Capitol. Alex Love went through the criminal complaint and other court records today. He joins us now in the newsroom with the latest. Alex. Well, Adam, James Moult from Brockport was arrested back on October 6th at Fort Bragg in North Carolina, where he was stationed since joining the military early, earlier this year. According to the criminal complaint, he's facing nine law violations and is still in custody as the investigation continues. When first interviewed January 18th, James Moult told FBI agents of the Buffalo Division Joint Terrorism Task Force he took a bus down to D.C. ahead of January 6th with his dad and friends to hear President Trump speak. But nine months later, he's now under arrest for allegedly resisting and assaulting officers, trespassing in a restricted area, disrupting government business, and using a dangerous weapon towards officers. Through two anonymous tips and cell phone video, federal agents believe this shows Malt at an entrance to the Capitol spraying a chemical device towards officers. They spotted him wearing a hard hat that read, Iron Workers Local 33, a union in Rochester who told us Malt is not a member of. His mother, Anita Malt, was also interviewed by the FBI on January 18th and recognized the man wearing the hard hat as James. Agents then tracked down James, who told them he wore it for protection against attacks from Antifa members, also denying he assaulted anyone or entered the Capitol and vandalized government property. The Eastern District of North Carolina Federal Court disagreed and issued an order of detention pending trial. Malt must remain in federal custody due to his release being a concern for the safety of the public. The judge also believes they can't assure Malt will appear back in court when required. Court records have not been updated to know when and where Malt will be due in court for a bail hearing. We went out to his family's home in Brockport for comment on his defense, but they had no comment. It's unclear what his status is for when in the military enlistment since the arrest. Live in the newsroom, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you. So James Malt, as we mentioned, one of three local men from Monroe County arrested in relation to the January 6th insurrection. The other two, Cody Matais and Dominic Pozzola. For a look at the criminal complaint in this case, head over to rochesterfirst.com.